Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and mercy. There is none like unto you. We give you all the praise and thanks. We say to you, be all the glory. Lord, in ways we have failed you, we pray that you forgive us. We need the right spirit within us. Father, Lord, as we study your word, I pray that you grant unto us understanding. Bless our hearts and let your name be glorified. We have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'll be teaching on a topic I call observe and take action. Observe and take action. And where we'll be looking at will be from the book of Luke chapter 21, verse 36. The Bible says, be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the son of man i read it again it says be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the son of man when we talk about watch we are simply saying observe watch may not or doesn't just mean looking. There's a difference between looking and observing. Uh, just as there's a difference between hearing and listening. So when the Bible says watch and pray, what the Bible is actually saying is observe and then take an action. What you observe is actually meant to be an input to what you pray about. Many times we just pray without observing. We don't observe any trend, we don't observe anything, we just open our mouths and pray. But this is coming from the mouth of Jesus that watch and pray, that observe and pray. The lives of our children are in funny situations many times because we don't observe what they say, we don't observe what they do. <clears throat> we don't take a um, serious um, mind to look intently, deliberately, or observe things about our children, things about our family, things about our work environment, things about the industry where we are in. Because the truth is that if we truly observe well, it will give us the all we need to pray so that we can escape some things that will happen that is what that verse is saying so watch and pray observe and take action there are some great observers in scripture if we look at mary in luke chapter 2 verse 19 the bible says and that was when the shepherds came the angels spoke to them and they came to meet mary and said all the things the angel said, and the Bible says, but Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. These things people said about the child she will have. She studied in her heart and kept pondering. As the child will be growing, she will be listening and check those things that we have said. That is observing. In Luke chapter two, verse 51, when Jesus was forgotten, when they went to the temple and they came back to meet him, and he said, I'm about my father's business. In verse 51, the Bible says, then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them, but his mother Mary treasured all these things in her heart. So anything her son will say, anything that I said about her son, she treasures it, she observed them, she keep them in her heart and be working with them, trying to either, is there a trend? Is there anything that I can do with it? That is what Mary, her mother will always do. Another person that was observant in scripture was Jacob. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 37, verse 11, Joseph's brothers envied him and were jealous of him. When Joseph told about his dreams and all that, they envied him, but his father observed the saying and pondered over it. Do our children tell us some dreams? And we just take it for granted. We don't keep it to look at it again. Do our children say things that have happened in school? Or something says, um, somebody tells you something about your kids 
about your workplace, you don't observe the same. You don't ponder over it. We are meant to be good observers if you are a good prayer warrior. So a prayer warrior without eyes to observe is an error. So you observe things about your environment. Are there said things about where you work? Oh, will they retrench people? Is there something that has happened in one other company that the trend is coming again here? And you are not observing. If you don't observe, you can't pray. So most times we do reactiveness. Things have gone bad already before you start praying. Meanwhile, you are meant to observe something before it happens and then start praying to take action so that you escape the thing from happening. That's what that um, um, starting scripture said. So the truth is that with proper observation, you may be able to identify trends. With proper observation, you'll be able to observe trends in life. Um, there was a time many years ago, as a, I think as a teenager, I woke up one night by 2 p um, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. in the night, and I was gasping for breath, as though someone having asthma. But I, I never had asthma, so I was gasping for bread. Bread. My mom came from her room, and somehow I gained myself. Now it happened the next night, the next day, at the same time. The same thing happened. So for about three nights or so, the same thing happened. I had gone to the hospital. They have checked and said there's nothing. So my mom called my eldest sister, who was then in Lagos, um, a minister of the gospel. Um, my eldest sister just told her what to do. Funnily, what my sister told her to do is that we should change room, that my mom should sleep in my room, and I should go and sleep in my mom's room. And the truth was that that was the end of that problem. Observing, identifying a trend, and what probably my sister did was to just break the circle. Probably that will happen in that room, but it will occur continuously. So what my sister just told my mom, exchange room, and that ended the problem. I have a fr pastor friend in Kaduna. Well, I was in Kaduna for some months. He mentioned that there was a period in his life that every October was a difficult month. Every October, he will lack, he can't pay his rent, he can't do this, he can't do this, money, problems, every October. So what he did was he went to beg his landlord and said, I may need to pay you earlier so that my rent will start reading not in August, not in October again, should be reading another month. And that was how he broke the trend. He scattered where he had, to make his payment so that it not be October again. And that was how he solved this problem. By observing, you can break some trends. You can take some actions that will help you in life. Where it needs prayer, you pray it to be or not to be. So with proper observation, you may be able to identify trends in your life. When you have trends, when you understand trends, trends may be positive or negative. Don't always think that we are talking about negative uh, trends. It can be positive or it can be negative. I, my parents had four girls before they had a boy. They had four girls before they had a boy. Now, while I was, when I, when I got married and I had four girls, yeah, and with understanding too, it wasn't difficult for me to believe that, okay, my next child must be a boy. It wasn't difficult to, by understanding trend. So, um, trends are important in life. If we look at that scripture again, it says, be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. There are some things you will escape if you observe and pray. Many times we don't observe, so the things come and happen to us. This is scripture. Watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. That is about to happen in the industry. Observe and pray. Watch and pray. That's about to happen in your family. Watch and pray. That's about to happen in your community. Watch and pray. Observe and pray that you may be able to escape what is about to happen. So it's a very important thing that we must do. I may want to point out that you may have observed that first sons or first children are targets 
well, targets by the devil, even targets by God. God targeted Pharaoh's first, um, the Egyptians first sons. The devil also targets first children because um, the, the, the first sons or the first children are like first fruits and God wants it. The devil also will want to have what God wants. So we have that issue in the family. If we look at Romans chapter 11, verse 16a, Romans 11, verse 16a, in the Good News translation, it says, if the first piece of bread is given to God, then the whole loaf is his also. Let's look at another version. King James says, for if the first fruit is holy, the lump is also holy. If we can get our first children right with God, it is easier for the whole family. It's easier for the rest of the children to um, line up with holiness. Check your family. Are your first children, are, are they given to God? It, it's something we should also think about. The devil targets that. So many times too, you may see some trends around first children. You may see some trends around first sons or first daughters. Um, like, um, I know my mom was to be buried on a Friday. Um, my mom was the first, was the first daughter. Um, two Fridays before she was to be buried, my daughter had a terrible accident where she had a fracture on her hand. And my daughter was the first daughter. That was on a Friday. The next Friday, a week to my mom's visit, my wife had a terrible issue where she almost died. My wife was the first daughter. These are trends. So the devil targets first children also in some things. Um, when I, it, it's proper, we do some observation in our family line or in our whole family. Some, remember I said some trends may be positive, but um, maybe negative. Uh, it's not that it's all negative. My grandparents, um, their first child was a daughter, that's my mom, and she was born in March. My mom had a first child who was a daughter too and was born in March. That's my eldest sister. My eldest sister too had a first daughter who was born in March too. So you can see that there are trends. There are things, some, some trends are, you may not bother about it. You may not look at it. But if, it's proper, if you can observe some things, you see that things will get better for you. Even Abraham's lineage had a serious trend issue. Abraham um, had a first son, which was Ishmael. And then he had another son, which was, which was um, Isaac. Now, Isaac, who was not the first son, let's get it from how it happened. Isaac, who was not the first son, was the child of blessing. He had the blessing. Now, Isaac, that had the blessing, had two sons. Esau was the first, and Jacob was the second. Esau, the first, also did not get the blessing. It was Jacob that had the blessing. Jacob also had a first son, Reuben, that also missed the blessing, and the blessing kind of went to Joseph. Let's put it that way. Now, Joseph had two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. Manasseh was the first. It's as though Joseph understood something. So he, when Jacob was to bless his two children, um, Joseph took Manasseh and put him at the right hand of his father, Joseph, I mean, Jacob. So that this, my first son, must be the one to receive the blessings from the right hand. But when Jacob was to bless him, Jacob turned his hand and put the left on Manasseh and gave Ephraim the blessing. So they are seemingly had been First songs, missing, missing, missing. It's all about observation. So in your family, in your lineage, in your place of work, are there some trends, some things that are giving you signals? It is true that the Bible says, will God do something serious in a land or in a family without first telling the prophets or telling his sons or telling his servants? That is true. But the many times the servants of God are blinded to see the trend. Because Jesus has said, watch and pray. So when you say God will tell you, he's telling you by the things you should observe. He's telling you by the things you should watch. So it may, 
things will, will happen and you're saying, and God did not tell me. No, you did not watch. You did not observe. So observe trends. Observe things in your family. Observe things that could happen in the fellowship. That will give us an input to pray properly. So the truth is that many times we pray amiss because we do not observe trends. We pray amiss because we, don't, we do not observe things in our family line. So that is an important point that we must note. So in concluding, it's still with that um, verse of scripture, Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Be always on the watch, observe, and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. Watch and pray in our industry. Are there trends? Maybe there are trends of things that happen in NAFCON that happen in one place. Are they repeating themselves? Are there things that we need to start praying about? Not when things have gone worse that we pray, but by observing, you will be able to pray properly to escape the problem that will occur. Well, it is a teaching and um, in the little time we have, I don't know if anyone will also want to share with us. I've mentioned some of the trends. Well, I saw in my family, and if maybe there are anyone who will also want to share with us some trends they have observed and how they were able to handle it. Let me just give the opportunity before we end with a word of prayer. So you can put on your mic if you have anything to say to add to, it's a teaching and I love feedback many times. All right. Anyone? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, this is a wonderful uh, teaching. Honestly, um, for that BA, I will um, advise that you send uh, this uh, teaching to the um, WhatsApp platform. Everybody needs to have a copy of this uh, message. Uh, this is what helped me over the years. Um, the, the name that my family is answering today, I, by God's grace, by revelation, by understanding, by observing the events that were happening in the family, I had to give that name. But um, my elder brothers didn't have the understanding, you know, because um, they are not really very strong Christians. So I had to overrule because I saw what was happening. By God's grace, uh, God had to stop the death in my family because of the understanding I had. God is called that, you know, people were dying every two years, you know, at the fam in the family. And uh, um, people did not have the understanding. So I got men of God, some brethren, we got to my village, got to the family, and then we pray prayers, we broke some things, some covenants, you know, so many revelations were made. And of course, that, you know, um, was the end of the premature death in the family. So if you observe things, observe trends, you know, in your family, around your life, in your marriage, you know, uh, you discover that you'll be able to put a stop to so many activities of the devil. But even, even, even the job, I, you know, I, I, I did some studies and I discovered that. My father worked for a time and then, you know, lost his job. My elder brothers worked for some years, lost their job. So I said, this is a trend, you know? So I had to stand against it, you know, with prayers. So my day, it's a wonderful message. I will just, you know, pray that you send this message to um, the platform and then um, we ask that everybody will have a copy of it and then listen to it from time to time. And look, you know, across... You know, your family, your activities, your lineage, everything. And honestly, you discover that there are some terrible satanic trends that you need to abort. You need to, you know, ask, bring God in to abort for you to uh, have safety and, um, you know, peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Any other person? Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, I also observed it. I also observed the trend in my family, especially for the male, for the male, for the sons, like most the first sons, they struggle through life. They struggle through life. They will get a job after some years, they will lose it. They have problems in their family. And a lot of them went into polygamy. 
that also affected the lives of the children. So I observed the trend, and we are praying about it, and we are still believing God for a turn around. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, a similar trend too was happening in my family, and uh, we took prayer. I discovered my elder brothers. I have four of them. The first one has three girls, second one a girl, the other one four girls. The fourth one, this is my immediate elder brother, when the wife was pregnant, I called my elder sister. I said, we have to stop this thing. Our parents are four boys. How come one of them wants to have a male child? We spoke and uh, we prayed and we made a declaration. And when the child came, it was a male child. And that's the only male child amongst my four elder brothers. So uh, we had a similar time. And then, of course, our children of God made that declaration and it has come to stand. Praise the Lord. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any other person? Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, uh, my own is just a little comment. Uh, for me, I believe that uh, there is need for family deliverance, even as a Christian. But I know that many Christians, some of my friends, don't even believe in family deliverance. But it's real, from, even from the teaching, even around from Abraham, you know? <laughs> Well, Every from, uh, from that, like I also see the immorality that yeah. came from uh, the lineage of uh, David and the rest Find of it. them. Thank you. Yeah, I, I so much appreciate the, lecture, uh, the teaching today. I, I believe in family deliverance. And uh, they find the, when there are some trends happening in their family, the root of it is seen. And most times uh, it's idolatry. I know also in my family. In the past, um, this untimely dead was there. And as a believer, I find out that it's uh, idolatry we have in the family. And what I did, um, I mobilized, my, when I married myself and my wife, we went to our community, our land. We went with the pastors that prayed and cut us off in my own family, my mother household, my brother household. And I also took the pastor to my wife's place to call them up. Because I believe in it. That's how they trend the run through the blood. So, mm -hmm. so for me, it's, 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 it's a firm teaching. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other comment? Okay. All right. So I, I will want to appreciate us for participating and I believe that God will indeed bless and keep us. Let's say a word of prayer. Faithful Father, there is none like unto you. you. You give your word and your word brings deliverance. Lord God Almighty, we pray that as many, even outside the group that are listening now that partake of this lecture, Lord God Almighty will be blessed by it. We pray that families that need deliverance, Lord, that your mercy, your mercy, Lord, prevails over judgment. Lord, we pray that you have mercy on our families, you have mercy on our homes. Lord God Almighty, consign our place of work. Lord God Almighty and our families, Lord, intervene and show us your mercy. Forgive us in ways we have sinned against you. We need the right spirit within us. Blessed be your holy name, faithful Father. We have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.